Okay, so announcement from NVIDIA this week that um, DLSS 3.5 Ray Reconstruction is now a part of RTX Remix. So I'm going to go straight to you on this, Alex. Um, mm -hmm. RTX Remix, it's basically a way to uh, take older games and um, the Remix basically samples all of the draw calls and then kind of like acts as an interposer of sorts and basically injects path tracing and new assets and stuff like that. Um, Ray Reconstruction, what is it and is it a big deal for uh, Remix? Mm -hmm. So Ray Reconstruction is NVIDIA's machine learned denoiser and upscaler at the same time. So with these Remix projects, even though you're looking at games that were made, you know, like from the year 1998 all the way to the year 2005, maybe, or even later, um, still this process of uh, ripping out like the rendering and uh, replacing all the lighting and like primary surface draw with path tracing is very expensive to render as we've seen in games like Portal RTX, which uh, it's, you know, you need DLSS to run that. Uh, well, the reason why DLSS ray reconstruction is great is because you're getting the advantages of DLSS's upscaling, but you're also getting the advantage of a machine learned program that can perhaps do aspects of denoising way better than something that was hand tuned by a person. And in the case of really dynamic content, like each of these games is going to be completely different from one for the other in the way they look, uh, the silhouettes, uh, the materials that people are just going to be injecting in there. Um, giving like this to a machine learning program is going to prop, it's going to probably give way better results than, uh, the previous denoising that they were using. And also for games like these that are back then, like you do have like one of my favorite aspects of ray reconstruction is just like how much more responsive it is than other denoisers that I've seen it compared yeah. against. So like when a light turns on and off, like a lot of old games use flickering lights. They really do. It was like, <laughs> we support dynamic lighting. All the lighting's red or green and it's flickering. You know, like you just go back and tons of games have that. And having it being as responsive as possible with the denoising, I think that's actually a big deal to keeping them look better. And another side thing that happens with ray reconstruction too is because these uh, other denoisers that it is compared against uh, tend to be running, you know, multiple of them, one for shadows, one for indirect lighting, one for indirect, you know, specular lighting reflections. You know, there's, there's, a, there could be multiple denoising passes. And they accumulate a lot of frame time. They're expensive. Ray reconstruction is expensive in its own right, but it tends to be less in aggregate than multiple other expensive denoisers. So I've measured it running better, I think, in Alan Wake 2. I think it runs uh, a good deal better also in Cyberpunk. So it'll lead to these games being better running. In general, though, I'm super excited about RTX Remix. I haven't covered it like in a video on the channel yet because it kind of way I've well there's one video there's a couple things I could cover and I have planned to it and then I switched projects but I kind of want to let it like stew a little bit always at the same time because there's a lot of community projects and like every day I go into the their discord channel and I see what people are doing and there's always something new and there's always like an update for a project that people are working on so like it's a moving target and constantly showing like which thing I want to cover. There's probably going to be multiple in the end that I cover, but uh, I want to cover it. And now that I can cover it with ray reconstruction, then it's like the best. Actually, it's kind of like the condition I want it to be in at the moment. So mm -hmm. watch this space. Maybe soon enough, there will be a video on one of these projects. Yeah, I think the, the big takeaway for me, um, I had a recent um, press event with NVIDIA and I saw some of the vacant reconstruction stuff happening. They had a demo with Portal RTX with Ray Reconstruction, which I think is out now anyway. Yes. But um, they had a demo where they saw a cube drop and um, the lighting without Ray Reconstruction was very, very laggy. You know, the, right. the reflections of the cube were kind of persisting much longer 
than it should do as the cube dropped. And it was like much, much, much faster. Uh, some of the comparisons they, shots that they put out for RTX Remix showing ray reconstruction. I mean, as you say, it's, it's, it's upscaling and it's denoising. So, you know, the effects of ray tracing um, with prior denoises were actually quite low resolution. In some cases, you just get much higher ray tracing effects like, you know, um, uh, specular and whatnot. It just looks so much better. So much more detail is being uh, yeah. being preserved there. So I think it's a great move. And I think ray reconstruction is actually, I wouldn't call it a secret weapon of, of NVIDIA's, but basically what it means is that even when uh, competing GPU vendors catch up with the performance of NVIDIA, which, you know, it's going to happen at some point, right? Um, it still won't look as good. <laughs> yeah, it's always the interesting when, thing with DLSS and whatnot. Like, yeah. it's like a differentiation that we don't have too often, at least since the 90s, of like, the game just looks better on this one GPU. Like, that's, you know, it's weird. Yeah. And uh, RTX Remix, I love it. Well, I saw a demo of, um, you could go into the editor in one of the Half-Life 2 levels that they're uh, quote unquote remastering with RTX Remix. And the power of accurate lighting and path tracing is so potent on these older games uh, because it's kind of like the key component that was missing. And, you know, it doesn't really matter that you've got low geometry in, in some cases when the lighting does so much work for you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm really excited by RTX Remix and what's happening there. And I think, you know, Half-Life 2, that project is going to be a standard bearer for, for what this thing can, can do. But in the meantime, it's just great to see the level of experimentation that's going on with the modding community. And, uh, yeah, it's just fantastic stuff. Um, any thoughts, Oliver? No, I think it looks awesome. Um, I think there probably are some questions, or it'll be interesting to see how these look in motion because all we have right now are these these snapshots, right? And I know that it can look a little bit more unstable in motion. Some games look a little bit more over sharp, and in Cyberpunk in particular. But I thought conversely in Alan Wake 2, it looked absolutely brilliant. Um, so right. I'm really excited for this. You see so much more detail just as a result of resolving those very fine shadows in particular in some of these shots, resolving those very fine shadows with more detail, with more clarity. You actually, it actually gives a perception of increased geometric detail, which helps you as well. So I think it's just uh, really exciting stuff and I can't wait to see it. That's a really good point, Oliver, because um, I'm curious to see when and how long it takes for NVIDIA to iterate on it. Um, Ray Reconstruction's been updated like a couple of times, just like smaller updates. And uh, like, I like it in Alan Wake 2, and I'm like, I like a lot of aspects of it in Cyberpunk, but I don't like what it's doing to like people's faces and like shadowed regions. And I don't like the, you know, like the sharpening that it's adding to certain surfaces. So I'm curious to see like, as a result of this, like they're going to have more inputs on it. They're going to be keep iterating on it. I I'm just very curious to see when their next update is for it and they'll, when they'll advertise it, if they're going to advertise it or if they're going to just kind of like let it boil in the background. Yeah.